there is a growing public safety concern for response to transportation accidents involving radioactive materials. Radioactive materials are among the many hazardous substances emergency responders might have to deal with in a transportation accident. Each year, Chester County Emergency Management Agency holds a hazardous materials transportation exercise. The local emergency planning committee manages the exercise and is funded by the U.S. Department of Transportation. The 2023 exercise will focus on a transportation incident involving a highway shipment of a low-specific activity radioactive material. A full-scale exercise is a complex event requiring detailed planning and training months before the exercise. Multiple training sessions were held to train on all aspects of response to an incident involving a radioactive material. Responders learn how to use the Emergency Response Guide to aid first responders in quickly identifying the hazards of the materials to protect themselves and the public during the initial response phase. Responders also learn how to use the Ludlam Model 3 radiation survey meter to monitor victims and first responders who have been in the hot zone and may have become contaminated. In addition, responders were trained how to establish a decontamination corridor. conduct dry decontamination, and perform double-sheet gross decontamination on victims. Before the exercise, multiple agencies attended a tabletop exercise to understand the plan, coordinate the response, and find out where gaps in the plan might exist. The full-scale exercise design establishes a learning environment for responders to accomplish the following exercise objectives. First arriving personnel will establish command and provide initial scene reports while beginning response operations, carry out management planning, and coordinate on-site incident response. Responders will use resources to recognize and identify the hazardous material involved, including the vehicle placards, package labels, and the emergency response guide. During emergency response actions, first responder entry teams will establish a hot zone, rescue victims, and conduct fire suppression. Responders will direct rescue operations to remove affected victims from the hazardous environment. Responders perform a double sheet gross decontamination on a non ambulatory victim that they expect to be contaminated and initiate proper patient transfer contamination controls. A second entry team will retrieve the shipping papers and suppress the engine fire of the transport vehicle. Hazardous materials responders will establish a decontamination corridor to conduct radiological monitoring, dry decontamination, and provide contamination control within the warm zone. Responders and victims in the hot zone will be monitored using the handheld ledlam equipped with the Teletrix SP900 series radiation simulation meter probe. The Teletrix unit will generate a meter response, simulating contamination. Contaminated persons will go through the dry decontamination corridor to remove radioactive contaminants. This process involves systematically removing the outer layer of clothing and gear. Clothing is not pulled over the head, but is either cut off or carefully removed from the top down to prevent radioactive dust or particles from shaking loose. Face masks are left on until the final dry decon phase to prevent inhalation of airborne contaminants. Once all outer gear has been removed, they go through the portal monitor. If the person remains contaminated at 300 CPM or higher, they will be transported by emergency medical services to the Piedmont Medical Center to be transferred to specialized healthcare professionals with radiological expertise. Once the decontamination process is complete, all hazmat personnel working in the dry decontamination corridor will also go through the portal monitor to check for contamination. The exercise concludes with a hot wash 
and an after-action meeting to identify immediate and longer-term corrective actions for future radiological transportation incident responses. This exercise overview video has been brought to you by the Chester County, South Carolina Emergency Management Agency.